Hello and welcome to CGD Games. Today we're checking out the Class 158 Scotch Rail, uh, which is coming very soon. And uh, we'll listen to this lovely young man as he tells us all about the 158. Start from the beginning. Right, so uh, he wants us to to tootle down here. So if we've got some steps somewhere, or can we jump up? I don't know. Let's just walk down here anyway. There we go, and uh, we'll. We'll pop up these steps here. That'll help, won't it? There we go. Right, uh, can we shut them doors? Now, I'll tell you what. Let's open that door. And then uh, we'll close that there, because we are going to get in here. There we go. Excellent stuff. Okay, first things first. Check the fuses are all set correctly. Tally ho. Right, so you want that to normal. Excellent stuff. And put it in neutral. Right, so, pal. Uh, so, key on. And you want that in neutral. There we go. Check the horn. If it is broken, we have to lock out this. It's working, pal. It's working. Yeah, I've got wipers. No, that's uh Yeah, they're good to go, brother. All good. And he wants me to set them to park. There we go. Right, jobs are good. Right. Let's get this unit started. Cheers, pal. Check your brakes. Uh, yep, yeah, they're in full service, so you want them to step one. There you go. Done that, haven't I? Have I put it to step one? Yes, I've done that. Set the automatic brake back to full service. They are the back in full service. Now let's head to the first platform and practice stopping at stations. You want me daylights on? There we go. That's that done as well. Set the reverser to forward. Right. There we go. Set the driver reminder appliance to off. There we go. Set the automatic brake to release. There we go. So we've released them. Splendid. And set the throttle notch to three. Right. Let's rock on. Get out here and listen to this bad boy rev up. Right, so that's how we get the 158 Scots Rail on the go. So shall we give it a go out in the real world? So here we are. We are on the uh, Edinburgh to Glasgow from uh, Train Sim World 3. I'll tell you a little bit more about all the different uh, layers that you will be able to use the Scot Rail 158 on. But without further ado, uh, let's get this train uh, set up. So uh, first of all, master key on. Uh, let's get this into neutral. There we go. I want that off. Uh, I want my... Uh, I want my dead headlights. Let's uh, unlock the doors for these people. There we go. And then we're going to go over to the fuse. And uh, get that all sorted out. There we go. So that's that done. Right, uh, so we are as then, as it told me to do, and there, that's good, and then back into full service again, so that's that done, I'm just doing everything that it told me to do um, in the tutorial, like we just did, so we've got everybody jumping on board now, we've got to wait till uh, 9.25, which is round about now, there we go, so let's lock the doors, there we go. So we'll wait for the doors to shut. They do take a while. And listen for the guard buzzer. Is it going to buzz? There we go. Excellent. Right, so let's uh, release the brakes. Um, we're going to put that. Oh, you tool. You tool. Into forward, like so. Why I'm using... Uh, the stick to do this, I don't know but anyway, we're off, we're off we've got a speed limit of 90 miles an hour we've got a clear run and 4.6 miles to go ladies and gentlemen so, this, ladies and gentlemen is Skyhook Saltire Sprinter uh, and it's available on both Edinburgh to Glasgow and the Five Circle Line and there's plenty of Scottish action to be had with the ScotRail Class 158 uh, so, yes, this is a DMU, ScotRail Class 158. It remains a common sight around the UK's world railway lines, venturing as far south as Cornwall and then to the upper reaches 
of the Scottish Highlands through various operators. They were built between 1989 and 1992 and dubbed the Express Sprinter to differentiate from the other member of the Sprinter families. Players of Skyhook Games Midland Mainline route will already be familiar with the East Midlands version of this popular DMU, which has since layered into other routes such as Glossop Line and Train Sim World 4's East Coast Mainline. There you go, a little bit of information. I'll tell you a little bit more as we continue through our journey. I don't want to give you too much too soon now, do I? But we'll have a good mooch around uh, this butte of an engine. Now, you know how I, I love to have a good mooch around these and have a look at the weathering and the smaller details. I do like to have a good look. So look at all that weathering down there. How good is that looking, ladies and gentlemen? Brilliant, isn't it? And we have a good look up there. You can see the dirt on the windows. Another fantastic job uh, done here by Skyhook Games. And once again, as we start to look at some of the finer detail down here, just magnificent in every single way. And once again, look, fuel drain. No need to put that there, but they do. They do. It's just spot on. The uh, fuse box there. Yeah, look, just superb. And once again, these stickers look really well done. Down here, we've got a few switches, stop and start engine. And that does say something, but with my eyesight, I can't quite make it out. Look at the detail just goes on and on and on and on. And then this is one of my favourite parts, as uh, another loco passes by there. The exhaust pipe, look at that, it's just like off one of the old American trucks that we're driving in, Alaskan uh, road truckers. Superb, absolutely superb, love it. Absolutely love it. The roof on this, anyone like to look at my roofs? Uh, very well detailed once again, nicely weathered, not much to see up there, if I'm honest. But yeah, but the sounds, the detail, perfect in every single way. We'll get some uh, windows open. We're about uh, 2.7 miles away from our destination. So I'll tell you a little bit more about the 158, which entered service in Scotland in September 1990. Eventually becoming part of the ScotRail fleet, the contemporary ScotRail variant has been developed by Skyhook Games to add traffic and gameplay to all three Scottish route add-ons available in Tracing World 4. This has involved overhauling the exterior to match ScotRail's patriotic blue tones and branding, which we've actually just looked at, and I think you'll agree with me, guys. Uh, Skyhook have done, uh, once again, a fantastic job um, with what they've done here with this 158. Absolutely brilliant. As you can see, wobbling about like a jelly on a plate at the moment, isn't she? She really is. All this is interactive as well. I've not managed to get it switched on yet. Um, there is a power button, which is here. Um, but she doesn't seem to do anything as of yet. 83 miles an hour. And, oh, crikey. I'm, I'm, tr I'm rabbiting on that much. We need to slow down as we're about 6,000 feet away uh, from Lin Linlithgow Platform 1. So I'm going to start slowing her down now. Ooh, blimey O'Reilly. Good job of spotted that then, isn't it? Or we would have been in all sorts of bother. Let's take a mooch outside as we uh, do approach the station. Putting her onto step two now just to slow her down. 3,000 feet away, 60 miles an hour. So I will tell you a little bit further on in the video what else this layers into. As you can imagine, I've, I've mentioned that it does layer into three Scottish lines. So we do have this uh, Edinburgh Glasgow. Uh, and we also have the Five Circle and the Cathcart Circle as well. So they're the three routes that this will layer into. I'll give you a little bit more information about that shortly. Uh, Skyhook have also made changes to the exterior as well on this. And if I get a chance in this video, I will show you. Uh, some interior shots as well, you know, of the carriages. So uh, I'll, I'll, we'll check them out shortly. Right, so we are going to need to start slowing down now. 
And as you can see, because we've just been in the tutorial, uh, we've got the markers on there. So what I will do once we've stopped and we've got everybody aboard and on our way again, uh, I will dive into the options and get them turned off because I don't like them on. Just takes that immersion away just ever slightly, doesn't it? And as we head in, get those doors open. Once again, you know, they do take a while, these doors do, to open. There they go. Right. While everybody's jumping on, I'll press the pause button and get these markers switched off. Right, so we've got the stop markers turned off now. We're good to go on that front. So we'll uh, we'll just wait for the stragglers to jump on board. Give us a little chance to have a quick scan around. There we are. Doors locked. Beep, 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 beep. And we got there closing nicely. We'll jump in the cab ready for the uh, the guards buzzer. Any moment now. There we go. All right, so we'll take our brakes off, which you can see down there being released. And we'll put her up to throttle two, and we'll be on our way. In fact, I'm going to put her up to throttle three because we are on a slight uh, incline here. We head away now. How are we doing for time? So we've got to be at Edinburgh Park Platform 1 for 9.43. Uh, it's about 12 miles away, so we're going to get plenty of time to have a bit of a conversation here, guys, aren't we? Let's get her up to throttle 4. So, with the information I've got here, let's just have a quick mooch outside as well. We've got another service passing through now. Is it another 158? It's the 380 that we uh, showcased not long ago. I think it was, anyway. <laughs> it certainly looked like it. <laughs> so, anyway, there have been more changes uh, to this wonderful 158 Scott Rail. Uh, we've got alternative headlight clusters on this as well. And an integrated snowplow, which we uh, had a look at right at the beginning, which you can see there. Uh, for those harsh Scottish winters. And a new passenger interior, a revised cab layout, all singled this variant out from the EMT version. And the new passenger interior consists of all new seat table and luggage rack models, completely new lighting, and even adjustments to the walls. But obviously, from out here, we can't see too much, can we? So we do need, at some point, uh, to head into the uh try to see if i can get there but yeah you, there's a, not too bad there we can uh, check everybody out you can see the new seat patterns on there and the tables the new lighting i would like to show you a little bit better but I'm, i need to be make sure i'm sat there just in case aws goes off you see can't be too careful so have a good zoom out and have a, have a look from the rear of the train there. Similarities, however, include the interactable GSMR panel, as well as the responsive guard buzzer that sounds when closing the doors, which were updated to close slightly quicker following the middle and main line updates. Well, I think they're still a little bit slow there, uh, and that was released a few months ago. As in the case in the real world, the Class 158 will be able to couple and work in tandem with the 170 from 5 Circle Line, allowing for mixed working in one scenario as well as some AI services using this arrangement. Players will also be able to couple and uncouple 158s and 170s in free roam, which is pretty cool. It's so about 9.8 miles away as we pass a nice field of sheep there head back towards the front of the train let me know what you think at this point guys down in the comments you know how i appreciate your interactivity here on cgd games uh, you're just as important as i am here on cgd games uh, your interactivity really does help uh, boost the channel within the youtube algorithm so Leave us a comment, let me know what you think, and will you be picking this one up? Do you like what you've seen today? Uh, as we preview 
It's awesome. I'm, I'm really enjoying this, actually. I'm really enjoying driving this. This is uh, a lot of fun. Feels really nice as well. I'm loving, you know, the, the way that the, the, the carriage is swaying. It reminds very much of the pacer on the Blackpool, the, the amount of uh, travel this carriage has got. A lot of travel. Right, let's have a look at where we are going to be stopping. So Edinburgh Platform 1. Then Haymarket Platform 3 and Edinburgh Waverley Platform 11A. So a couple of stops uh, to go on today's journey. We're about 8.1 miles away uh, from our next stop. So how about I shut up for a minute and I'll uh, show you guys around the train a little bit more uh, without me wittering over the top of it. So there you go guys, a few different angles and exterior shots of this uh, ScotRail 158. I hope you're enjoying uh, today's journey. I'm not boring you too much. Obviously you're all uh, train sim world enthusiasts, train enthusiasts that are tuning into this video. If you're not and you are wondering about train sim world 4 or even train sim world 3, why you'd be thinking about that I don't know. If you've got an Xbox, it's on Game Pass. Check it out. There's a few routes on there uh, for you to check out if you're a star. So don't be overwhelmed by it. If you are overwhelmed by it, just reach out. Let me know um, in the comments or reach out to me on Discord. I'll try and help you the best I can. I'm no expert. Um, some of the guys, some of the other uh, Dovetail Game Ambassadors know trains as if they're very close relatives. Um, I don't. Um, I'm not very mechanically minded or train minded so to speak but I just love enjoy and get a lot of pleasure uh, from playing this game there's something about having all this in front of you and figuring it out and driving it to a point where you're getting platinum medals uh, and just really enjoying the game it just gives you a sense of satisfaction um, each time I play it I'm learning something new so definitely give it a go uh, if you're on PlayStation I don't know I'd maybe borrow it off of, I don't know just give it a go if you can get hold of a copy definitely give it a go give it a try there's uh, another loco on its way past now Oof, beautiful off it goes there down the tracks I love getting those kind of shots absolutely brilliant but yeah, definitely give it a go. Don't be overwhelmed by it. Like I said, 
Um, I had a young man who's been uh, following me for a while now, Midi Madness. Um, he asked me about a simulator game that he could try, so I said try, try Train Sim World 4 on Game Pass. He gave it a go and he was smitten. Uh, so he kept playing it and then he said he was getting a little bit, not bored, but you know, there's not. When you're on long journeys like this and you've got gaps between uh, each station, how could I spice things up a bit? I said give AWS a go. Um, you know, it keeps you on your toes, something to do. It's, it's not sometimes it's not all about driving the train it's it's the journey it's getting there to each station and there's some of this beautiful scenery now bear in mind this is from train sim world 3 uh, this route but even still it looks magnificent doesn't it it really does look good a real sense that you are passing through the scottish countryside at uh, 67 miles an hour and i've just realized uh, the speed limit went up a long time ago when i was sat at 67 miles an hour I'm starting to wonder uh, if AWS is actually on uh, because we've not heard a peep from it have we um, the whole journey oh it is on that's strange oh well not to worry at least he's not interrupting me so here we go we're not too far now from Edinburgh Park platform one so I'm going to take the throttle off we are heading downhill so we don't really need the throttle on at the moment we are going to be naturally picking speed up We've got green signals ahead so we're all good on that front as well so we're going to put step one brake on i think just to help us on this uh on this hill we're heading down and uh, once we've uh, arrived and left the station i'll start telling you about uh, some of the routes uh, that you can use the 158 on that's so we have already gone over them but we'll go into a little bit more detail about that as well uh, but uh, a little bit more break up a little bit fast now aren't we down to 40 odd miles an hour i'm gonna release the brakes now actually we should be all right for the time being the 158 there They have got quite a distinguishable look about them, aren't they, at the front, uh, the 158s. Almost like a 50 pence piece, in a way, if you understand what I'm saying. I mean, just look, 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 you'll see what I mean. See what I mean? See the shape of it? I'm, I'm talking rubbish, aren't I? But almost, almost. All right, we're coming in nicely here now. Let's apply those brakes again. Let's get this speed down. Down onto step two. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice action. There we go. I think we've done that quite nicely, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you? There we go. Right, let's get the doors open. And allow all these passages on. Well, let's just have another quick look so on to haymarket next which is about five minutes away and then on to our final uh destination where the service will be ending at edinburgh at waverley platform 11a so not too long for this journey to go now beautiful weather out here today as well look at that blue skies beautiful day up here in scotland so let's lock those doors There we go. Wait for the buzzer. There she goes. There's the buzzer. And off we go again. Speed limit of 100. She leaves to Haymarket Platform 3 now, which is about 3.6 miles away. So we'll be able to pick up a little bit of speed on our way as we talk about all the different services uh, that this uh, Scots Rail 158 will layer into. So let's get uh, catch up with our loco. 
So this is obviously, as we are on here, we're on Edinburgh, uh, Glasgow from Train Sim World 3. Uh, a new timetable will be available in the ScotRail Express Edinburgh, Glasgow route. Uh, Add-on for players that purchase the ScotRail 158. This new timetable will include the Class 385, the 158 services, as well as a number of AI service layers from other Train Sim World add-ons for players that own them. These include the ScotRail Class 170 from 5 Circle, uh, the LNER Class 801 Azuma from the East Coast Mainline, and the GWR HST from the Great Western Express. These services are representative of the ScotRail HST trains that run on the real world route, utilising former GWR HST sets. The trains will remain unchanged in their GWR live livery. Uh, the full timetable including both playable and AI services provide train movements between Edinburgh and Glasgow as well as the off-the-map locations at Alloa, Annesland, Dunblane, Cowdenbeath, Glemis Th with Thornton, Aberdeen and London's King Cross. We've got about 2.7 miles to go now, just keeping an eye on everything. In addition to this new timetable, there will be three scenarios for the Edinburgh-Glasgow route. Five Circle Line as well, ladies and gentlemen. Three scenarios will be available to play on the Five Circle Line. Skyhook Games are awaiting the addition of the Levin Branch into the Five Circle Line before developing a new timetable that includes a ScotRail Class 158 and the Cathcart Circle Lines, which we've recently had updated, remastered. Uh, it will lay it into the... Uh, it will also lay it in as AI into the new timetable that released with the Class 380 and the recently remastered Cathcart Circle line. Route add-on, filling in for services that would normally be run by Class 156s, there will also be a short, playable ECS move. Wanting to see the ScotRail 158 in action? Keep an eye on Skyhawk Games socials, including Twitter, YouTube and TikTok, and here on CGD Games, because you're watching it now. Um, if you are thinking of picking this up, this is going to be £12.99 in the UK, uh, £15.99 uh, in Euros, and £16.99 for you guys in the US of A, if you are thinking of picking this up. Right, so we are heading now into Haymarket Platform 3. So I've just applied the brakes, we are going pretty fast here. As always, this is going to be compatible with the Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Epic Game Store and Steam. So there we go. The uh, Edinburgh, if you haven't got the Edinburgh Glasgow, that's available now for £29.99 on the uh, pre-mentioned uh, platforms that I have just mentioned. And the Five Circle is also available for £29.99 in your Great British Pounds as well. How far away are we now? I don't want to go... Let's go to... There. There we go. But yeah, guys, let me know as another... What's that that's just passed there? Like I said, I can't tell. I'm not very good with my trains, am I? I need to... Oh, look! Is this another 158 in at the station? I'm going very fast here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is another 158. As you can see, very busy, isn't it? Very busy indeed. Yeah, so let me know what you think, guys, down in the comments after all that information. Hey, getting good at this now, aren't I, with this Train Sim World? You can tell I just read that from Train Sim World's uh, blog post, but, you know. At least you're getting the information that is required uh, for you to make an informed choice whether to purchase this or not. It's always nice to know what it layers into, isn't it? There we go. So let's unlock the doors. They do take such a long time to open. They really do. So, right, one more check of this now. Yeah, Edinburgh Waverley platform, which is about four minutes, three and a half minutes away. So I reckon, what, about two and a half miles? Maybe three? We are running late as well for the looks of it. But not to worry. As long as we're having fun, that's all that matters, isn't it? That's all that matters. You can see there up on the digital sign, Edinburgh Waverley. 
That's where we're heading to next. We'll release those brakes. There we go. They're 6,419 feet away. Not even. Nowhere near what I said of uh, two miles. Nowhere near at all. Let's get up into notch four, shall we? We head into this tunnel. We don't have to pick up too much speed. Like I said, we are going to be stopping ever so shortly. It's all gone dark all of a sudden, hasn't it? <laughs> I don't like the tunnels, if I'm honest. I, I, do, I do like those lovely blue... Uh, lovely blue... Uh, dials there. They look great, don't they? Green light ahead. And then we've got a 20... Uh, speed limit as well so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the hammer off we are heading downhill I'm gonna put step one brake on try and slow her down we don't want to speed now do we the last thing we want there's AWS kicks in <laughs> after all this time now we're nice and flat now under the speed limit we'll uh we'll trundle in nicely to edinburgh platform 11a let's have a mooch outside we've got uh, plenty of time haven't we just it's everything about this game in it just that the sound of the you know the the train on the tracks. I mean, look at this under there. Like I've said it before, apart from Farming Simulator 22 for the for the amount of detail that they put into the machinery, I don't think there's another game like it, is there? You know, train Sim World 4 and Farming Simulator 22 for just for the pure amount of detail um, that they put into these machines. It's just magnificent. It really is, and it's... A massive hats off to, to both Giants and Dovetail Games and Skyhook Games who've produced this wonderful machine uh, for us to enjoy as video gamers now. We've never had it any better, have we? We really haven't. And we, we do moan about the bugs and the issues, but do you know, you know the, the love and the time and the effort that does go into these uh, products that they give us is fantastic. Unfortunately, there are, you know, some developers out there that don't give a flying chuff, but, you know, uh, they release games and and leave them in that state, don't they? But anyway, that's a, a conversation for another day, I think. Let's just celebrate the wonder of this 158 and the fantastic game that is Train Sim World 4. We're quite a bit way off yet. I'm going to trundle in nicely. There's no point rushing this. Like I said, that make you love. Take your time, there's no rush. There we go. Let's apply that step one brake. Should bring us in nice and gentle. We can uh, put it up to step two if needed. Which I don't think we're going to need to do. In fact, we might need to do, actually. There we go. Almost perfect, that was. Let's unlock those doors. As uh, Agent 57 goes on his way to kill somebody. Good luck, sir. There we go. There goes the doors. There we go. And we're done, ladies and gentlemen. That is the 158 on the Edinburgh to Glasgow route. Let me know what you think down in the comments as always, guys. I really would appreciate it. If you have enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. And give that notification bell a little ding so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But in the meantime, why don't you check out one of these awesome Train Sim World 4 videos that have popped up onto the screen now. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.